Hello YouTube! Having a Founders All Day IPA. Very good. And you may be asking yourself, what the hell's going on? The system is live. Whoa! That's because we are brewing a beer here. My brother, just off screen here, there he is, he uh, came up with this recipe for an ESB. We decided, well hell, if we're going to brew, let's make a little YouTube video. This isn't going to be one of the big instructional ones where we go through every single little bit and bop, but uh, we're going to uh, go through it with you, uh, and we're going to be brewing it here on the Recirc Electric System. So we've got 10 pounds of Maris Otter. We've got a great bag here. We've got 10 pounds of Maris Otter, 1 pound uh, Caramel 60, 1 pound Crisp Amber. We're going to have an ounce of Target Hops for the full boil, and then an ounce of EKG broken up to, uh, in three editions, quarter, quarter, and a half. And we're going to be using the Wildman ESB yeast here for it. Two packs of that. I should actually probably take these off because this is already up to temperature for mashing. We've got our strike water set at 165. So I guess it's one of those things without further ado. I know it's been forever. Um, I hope you saw the previous video where I kind of explained where I've been. If uh, not, check it out. Uh, but the moral of the story is that there was a career path that went this way. Homebrew shop was going this way. Matt and Nikki were managing that just fine. Uh, then we got hit with COVID and a derecho, so we've had to shut down our North Liberty store. Matt is still managing our Marion store, so if you need homebrew supplies, check us out, DIYHomebrewSupply.com, or give him a call, 319-373-BEER. You have no idea how hard it was for me to get that, I tell you what. Um, but... Where I'm going with this is we definitely appreciate your support, uh, and it's time to time to brew a beer. It's been almost three years to the day today, actually, that we're filming this video. My last video was December of 2017. Now we're in November of 2020, and uh, it's been kind of a crazy ride, right? So, uh, thought an ESB, something delicious, would be awesome to have, and hoping you're doing well. So, uh, again, a little bit of... All day IPA because I don't have any homebrew. We haven't actually brewed. Matt brewed actually our last beer here, and I think it's been like two years ago. I've been making wine for what that's worth. <laughs> all right, let's do this. I guess first and foremost, we need to remember how to put all this together, right? <laughs> so we've got the sparge arm here. Uh, we've got our grated bottom there. This here will control the flow. For this bad boy, sweet deal. Filling it up now. Oh, you can see it actually moving. There we go. Fill it from the bottom. We'll dough it in and get everything uh, copacetic shortly. Looking good so far. I've shut our heat off here. We're showing actual of 154. There's a two degree delta. Look at that. 
152, which is exactly where we want the actual core of the mash to be. Matt checking the master here. Oh yeah! Derps! The police are coming. Dogs are barking, of course. See that flow right there. Everything's nice and smooth. Try not to fog you guys up. Everything's perking along nicely. 152. Our reading temperature is a little high, but it always is. There's a little bit of a differential, so. Everything looks to be going pretty good, though. We're about a uh, half hour in now. Where are we at on this guy? Oh, yeah, 152. See, we got this. And we're at about an hour. Looking beautiful. Everything's running nice and clear. Can't beat that. And Matt's going to do our iodine test just to see where we're at. Looks pretty. Smells delicious. Wish you had guys had smell of vision. Iota four here. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Looks brown to me, guys, right? Not black. And that's what we're looking for. If it turns black, it's binding to the uh, starch. Looks like we got a nice conversion. So we're going to start our uh, final drain here. So with this, we're uh, recirking. Everything's looking relatively clear already. No protein buildup. So what we're going to do is basically kill the pump and let everything slowly trickle down here and begin our boil. See you in a bit. Miss Hingle, we took a reading with this device. <laughs> <laughs> I will not cut that out. We took a reading and we are sitting at about 1048 actually. 1048, let me grab this. Yeah, 1048, 1049. So um, it's gallons. looking it's looking pretty good. Uh, we're at about yeah about seven and a half gallons of work. So um, going good. So begins the battle. boy but everything's perking now beautifully so away we go one ounce of tartness woo steam city and we're going to start our timer one hour alright so here we are a little bit of East Camp Goldings delicious delicious
last half ounce. Here we go. We've already started the chiller recirculating. And uh, there we go. So pretty much flame out. Boom. Alright, so we got the work going through here. You can see we are boiling. Uh, the hoses are sagging. <laughs> Alright, so we should be good to go. We're gonna try to get this up here. Try to get this here. Oh man. Oh, there it goes. See? There we go. And we just keep trucking. I need two hands for this to hold this up. <laughs> and we're just about there. Okay, so here we are. We're right at five gallons in this bucket. We're gonna kick in two of these bad boys here. We came in at about 1052 on specific gravity. So things are looking pretty good. Just pop that off there. Get her going. One would probably be sufficient, uh, but we've got two. So might as well use two, right? <laughs> we aerated the work with the uh, attachment on the end of that hose when it was getting sprayed in, so should be good. We'll just pop that in and uh, get the lid on this bad boy here. Pop an airlock on and get it into the ferment. Uh, fermentation chamber. There we go. So there we go. Brew's done. Uh, in the fermenter, we're going to hold it at about 68 degrees until it's done. And uh, yeah, keep an eye on it. Uh, now, uh, I guess it's just continuing to clean up, right? <laughs> you know how that goes. So thank you for watching. I hope this was fun. I know a little bit short video. Um, if you've got questions do leave them down below in the comments. Uh, if I don't get to them maybe someone out there uh, also commenting will. Um, uh, yeah pretty straightforward brews. Uh, just recirculated the mash, rinsed it out, boil, done. So uh, yeah everything went good. So looking forward to it. We'll have a taste test of course. And uh, yeah, thanks as always for watching. Um, if you haven't, click subscribe, click the notification bell to be notified anytime I put anything out. Um, check out Patreon, and um, yeah, I think that's about it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. It's been a while since I've done one of these. <laughs> cool, cool. Well, have a good one. Talk soon. Peace out.